Oh, good morning, traders. Um, today, the uh, video is going to be about a trade plan. <clears throat> I believe every day uh, you should try to go in and, and have a plan to see how you're going to trade. Are you going to trade predominantly from the long side by buying first and selling later? Or are you going to predominantly play from the short side? One of the things that I go look at here to try to help me make that decision is I go to forexfactory.com. And when you open it up, this is what the home page is going to look like. Um, I click on the market uh, tab right here in the, towards the top of the page. And as you can see, it'll bring up a chart here. This one is a Euro US dollar. I have clicked daily. And what this does, it shows, you know, the last, um, yes, the day before his action. And as you can see right now, uh, since about middle of last week the euro u.s dollar has been in a big downtrend uh middle of last week the u.s government made an announcement that they're thinking about raising interest rates and that changed the dollar's outlook because you can see before that the euro u.s dollar this pair was going up which means the euro was stronger than the dollar and right through here i would predominantly follow the trend and played from the long side and that means buying the currency pair first hit a lower price with anticipation of it going up and selling it for a higher price. Now I'm predominantly playing from the short side because of this announcement as you can see the trend is down so I'm selling it first at a high price and hoping it goes down and to buy it back later. Um, to zoom in a little closer you can click this um, one hour time frame and that kind of gives you more up to date how it's been playing the individual hours. And as you can see, this big down move right here was last week when uh, the government made the announcement about the interest rates. And since then, it has been in downtrend. And if you've been playing from the short side, you've probably been doing pretty well. Another thing I like to do when I'm here on Forex.com is, is highlight the calendar icon. And what this does is it has economic announcements that could affect the forex market uh, this is a very a calendar full of a lot of information as you can see they call out the date here the announcement's going to be made uh, call out the local time whatever time zone you're in i believe this will adjust to it and, and tell you the time that the announcement is going to be made it's also got a column here what currencies are going to be affected uh, the impact, if it's this yellow, you can see right, it says a low impact is expected on this announcement. This orange is going to mean a medium impact. And if you go down here to the red, you can see where it says it's expected to be a high impact. So, uh, the next column kind of tells you what the announcement's going to be. Um, you know, what information are they going to provide? You can click over here for further details. Okay, so there's a lot of information under the calendar. You need to check this daily. Another tab I, I like to use is the trades. And what this is, is there's a lot of traders around the world. It's not just from the U.S., it's from a lot of different countries that link their trading accounts to this. And anytime they place a trade, it will populate here. Now, this little icon right here, if you click on that, you can pick the pairs of uh, currency pairs that you want to have populate in your screen here to show you people are trading them. Uh, I tend to pick only the ones that have tight bid ask spreads. And the reason is that is, is the spread is, is like a commission. You know, when um, you used to, when you bought stocks, you know, you paid a commission to a broker. Well, the Forex market is the same and it's the spread and the larger the spread the bigger the commission so I tend to trade one um, euro US dollar uh, US dollar Japanese yen and Australian dollar US dollar those three tend to have some real tight spreads that way you don't pay a big commission every time you trade those are those three currencies are pretty liquid you you don't have much trouble getting filled when you want to make a trade in those currencies. So that's kind of a, a trading plan, as I call it. Um, you can follow these, and as you can see right here, um, it calls the traders 
profile name out there, online name. Don't know whether this is a man or a woman. Doesn't make any difference. And it shows their return. And this particular individual is down 102 pips. So you might want to, just because they're making a trade with their current track record, you, you might give some thought to it before you follow this trade. On the other side of the coin, uh, this particular individual right here is, is green 24 pips. So they have a little bit of a better track record. Over here is some real interesting information. Uh, this particular individual has got a June return for the month of June, a thousand and seventy-nine percent. That's extremely impressive. If uh, this individual would open their account with just say a thousand dollars, and they were to do this for an entire year, their account would grow to one hundred thousand dollars. So. <laughs> Um, Eagle's Wealth got a very good name versus his trading record. So that kind of gives you an idea of what type of information is available here on uh, Forex.com. Uh, it's a site that I use every day. And as a matter of fact, on the trade page right here, I leave that thing open and because it will continue to populate. You know, sometimes it populates pretty quickly uh, as people uh, make trades, uh, sometimes almost too fast to catch them especially the more currency pairs you are following, the faster this thing is going to populate. But anyway, I hope you learned something from this lesson. See you next time.